Today we're going to be playing with some drugstore makeup. I have products from Maybelline, e.l.f., L'Oreal, ColourPop, and NYX, and even Essence. Just a bunch of different products that a lot of them I've tried before already. Some of them are new to me, so I thought it would be fun to just sit down and play around with some drugstore makeup. All right, so let's just jump right into it. First, for today, I'm gonna start off with my brows, and I have two brow products that I'm gonna play with. First is the Brow Lift Gel from e.l.f., and then the next product I'm gonna use for brows is Maybelline Build-A-Brow. So let's just jump right into it. First, I'm going to take a spoolie and just load up the spoolie with some brow gel and then i'm going to just run the brow gel through my brow hairs and this will just set my brow hairs in place and provide a really nice template for the build up brow later on all right very nice and you see that just set my brows in place and it kind of helps me identify where i have some sparseness so that I can use the Build-A-Brow product after. So as you can tell, I've definitely used up quite a lot of this e.l.f. brow gel. I think it's a really good brow gel, especially it's definitely more affordable than a lot of the other brow gels. So yeah, I recommend this one. I've enjoyed it. It's a pretty standard brow gel product. All right, I'm just letting that dry down. I'm gonna go ahead with the Maybelline Build-A-Brow just to fill in some of the sparse areas that I have. I do like this product, however, I think I got the wrong shade. I think I should have gotten a shade darker. This is the shade Deep Brown, and it kind of shows up a little bit red on my skin tone compared to my brow hairs, so I think if I were to purchase this again, I would go in with, I would get a darker shade. But regardless, the product itself is quite nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in some of the sparse areas that I see. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see that um, the color is a little bit too red for me, but we'll just work with what we got. All right, that's looking quite nice. But yeah, just ignore the color difference. I definitely recommend this product. I think it's quite nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead with complexion. And I wanted to add a little bit of glow underneath my foundation. There are two products I could use for this. The first one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I've really enjoyed this product underneath my foundation. And then the next product I've seen quite a few videos on. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this product also looks quite nice under foundation. I think for today, I'll go ahead with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And I wear the shade 2 Fair Light. I'm just going to give this a good shake. And this is the doe foot applicator. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin running this all over my face. And I'm going to take a brush to begin brushing this in. This is the Nikki La Rose N17 brush. And I'm just gonna begin pressing this into my skin. All right, and now that I've brushed that all over my face, I'm gonna go ahead and really press this into the skin with a beauty sponge. And this also helps ensure that I remove any extra product from my face as well. But yeah, I really like this product. I think it provides a nice radiance to the skin, especially under foundation. And I've been enjoying using this quite a lot. So yeah, I definitely recommend this product from e.l.f. as well. For foundation today, I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I've been really loving this foundation. I wear the shade 120. I'm gonna give this a good shake and then begin by applying this with the applicator to the back of my hand, just like that. And then I'll go in with that same N17 brush and just begin working the product into my skin. And I'm really making sure to press this into my skin just so it blends nicely on top of the uh, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. 
But yeah, if you're looking for a nice foundation from the drugstore, I highly recommend this one from Maybelline. I think it's really great. It provides a nice radiant finish to the skin, even without the liquid glow underneath. This definitely has a beautiful finish to the skin. And then I'll go ahead with my beauty sponge, get some extra product on from the back of my hand onto the sponge, and I'll just begin really working this into my skin. And this will just ensure everything is blended out very nicely. See how that foundation just provided a really beautiful and luminous finish to the skin? It's just a really, really nice foundation overall. I think it's one of the best ones that you can find at the drugstore right now, at least from what I've tried. Now, I'm gonna go ahead with some cream bronzer. And the cream bronzer I'm using today is from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I wear the shade Tan Lines. I'm going to go ahead and apply the bronzer with a Nikki LaRose M15 brush. And I'm really just going to coat the brush and swirl it in the bronzer and make sure I really coat the brush. Then I'm gonna start by warming up my forehead first and to do so I'm gonna be using a tapping motion. And I think this cream bronzer is quite nice from the drugstore. I wish the component itself was a little bit bigger, just personal preference, but the product itself is quite nice. There were a lot of shades in this and I believe they also have a putty blush, which seemed kind of cool. The shades looked quite nice, but I just haven't picked that one up yet. All right, and that just provided a beautiful bronzing effect to my forehead. Let's move on to warm up my cheeks as well, and I'm gonna focus the pigment on the outer half of my cheekbone, and it's blending into the foundation underneath really nicely. Just a very nice product overall. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and work on building up the pigment on the outer half of my cheekbone just to add a little bit of warmth. And then when there's barely anything left on the brush, I'm just going to tap the rest of the bronzer on the side of my nose and on top of my nose as well. And then for blush, I have another product from e.l.f. It's their Camo Liquid Blush, and I've really enjoyed these products quite a lot. I'm going to use the shade Peach Perfect for today, and I'm going to apply this just by adding a few dots on my face, just like that, and I'm gonna work on one cheek at a time. I'll use that same Nikki LaRose N15 brush and just begin tapping this into my cheekbones. And I've been focusing my blush placement quite a bit higher. I think it just flatters my face more. And I really like the lifted effect it gives. And I'm really just making sure to blend this into the bronzer and foundation underneath. I'm also bringing whatever is left up to my temple as well. Just such a beautiful flush to the skin. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, but if you're looking for a pretty high quality and affordable liquid blush, I highly recommend these ones from e.l.f. They have a ton of shades that would flatter a wide range of skin tones. So if you haven't already checked them out, I would definitely recommend that. And the nice thing is, is that they're quite affordable too, so you can play around with shades that you wouldn't normally play around with and because these are liquid blushes they will last you a very long time and the concealer i'm using today is from maybelline it's the superstay active wear concealer and i wear the shade 15. i'm going to start by just applying the concealer to the back of my hand and i'm going to use my finger to apply concealer just like with any other makeup look. And I'm really gonna focus this product on the areas where I have the most darkness. So 
this inner corner right here is where I'm gonna focus the majority of the product. And I've used this concealer before. I think it's quite nice. It almost feels like it has a powdery finish, which is quite interesting, but I, I definitely do like it. The formula feels pretty lightweight and not too heavy underneath my eyes, which is what I look for in a, in a, in a concealer. I have really dry under eyes, so I like to look for a pretty lightweight formula underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna take a sponge and really just make sure everything is blended in. Yeah, as you can see, that concealer did a nice job of brightening up my under eyes. Great. And then I'm also going to add a tiny bit of concealer on my eyelids as well, just to neutralize some of the darkness I have. And again, I'll take a sponge and just really make sure everything is pressed into the skin. All right, I think we're ready to move on to powders. So the first powder I'm gonna use is to set my under eyes and my eyelids. And this powder is from Pixi. It's the Translucent H2O Skin Veil Powder. And this is a really nice and finely milled powder. I feel like it works pretty well underneath my eyes, which is great, especially because I have dry under eyes. I feel like this doesn't emphasize the texture or dryness I have under my eyes. I'm going to take this Y11 Morphe brush and just coat the brush in powder. I'm going to work the product into the brush by just swirling it in the cap and tapping off any excess product. So my brush is ready to go. And before I go in with the brush, I'm going to run a clean brush underneath my eyes just to remove any product that has settled in my crease, in my under eye creases. And then I'll go in with this powder and set my under eyes. And then I'm also gonna take some powder around the side of my nose and on my upper lip and chin just to lightly set these areas corners of my mouth as well as this is where I tend to get oily throughout the day and I'll also add a tiny bit of powder on my forehead. All right, now I'm gonna go in with some powder bronzer and the bronzer I have is from Physicians Formula. This is their multicolored bronzer and it just has some different colors in it. There's also some light pink in there which I think is quite nice. So I'm going to go ahead with this Alamar brush. This is the complexion brush. And I'm just going to swirl into the bronzer here and tap away any excess. And I'm going to start tapping this product into my forehead. It is quite pigmented, which is nice for a bronzer. But I'm just going to work on sweeping this into my forehead. Very nice. And then when there's barely any product on the brush, I'm going to use this to warm up my cheeks as well. And also the sides of my nose, on top of my nose, and then very lightly underneath my chin. I also want to bring this shade onto my eyelids as a transition shade and just all over my eyelids in general. So I'm gonna take this Nikki LaRose N13 brush do the same thing where I just swirl in all of the colors, really load up my brush, and then begin working this into my crease and eyelid. And using the bronzer that you used on your face in your eye area just provides a nice cohesion to the look. And I'm also bringing this color into my brow and then down the side of my nose a tiny bit. And I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'm also going to add some of this bronzer to my lower lash line as well. And I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm not looking for anything too precise. I just want to warm up my lower lash line as well. Same thing on the other side, same brush. Again, I just want to warm up my lower lash line. And for powder blush today, I'm gonna go ahead with the L'Oreal True Match powder blush. This is in the shade Tender Rose. 
And I'm gonna go ahead with a Sephora brush and just swirl into this product, really load up the brush, and then just begin applying this powder blush on top of the liquid blush that I applied earlier. Very nice. And I'm just gonna bring some on my forehead and chin as well, basically everywhere. I just love blush. <laughs> and then I'll also add some on my eyelid. No rhyme or reason really to where I apply this. I want to go ahead and add some shimmer to the eyes. So I have two Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. This one is in the shade Secret Garden, which is a more like rose goldy shade. And then I also have the shade Mighty Morphin, which is more of like a champagne color. I think I want to try and use both of these shades. So let me start with this Secret Garden shade. And I'm just gonna apply this using my finger here. And I'm gonna start by focusing this shade on the outer part of my, from like the middle of my lid to the outer part of my lid, just to add some nice shimmer. And then I'll go in with the Mighty Morphin shade. I'll also apply this with my finger. And I'm gonna focus this shade on the inner third of my eye, just like that. I really like these Super Shock shadows. I actually want to pick up some more shades of this. I only have these two because they were the ones that I could see myself using the most, but I just really like how pigmented they are. So it's kind of making me want to purchase some more of their fun shades. Like they have like a lot of blues and greens, which I think could be nice to have in my collection. And the beautiful thing is that these are from the drugstore, so they're like super affordable. I'm gonna go ahead with that brush that I used earlier with the bronzer on my eyes and just kind of blend along the crease just to make sure everything is blended out. And then I have a couple of eyeliners that I haven't tried out yet. I just got some new shades. I have the brown shade in these already, but I wanted to get some different colors. So these are the eyeliners from Pixie. They are the Endless Silky Eye Pens. And I have the shade Black Blue, which is this blue metallic shade here. And then I also have this purple shade as well. This is called Deep Plum. And for this look today, I think I'm gonna go in with the Deep Plum shade. Let me actually just swatch both of these. So that's the Deep Plum shade. And then I'll go ahead with the blue. Very pretty. But I think for this eye look, I think the plum is going to look quite nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and first start by tight lining my upper lash line here. And now that I've tight lined my upper lash line, I'm going to kind of build up some pigment on the outer part of my eye here. And I'm just doing this to build some definition to my eye. I'm not necessarily going to wing it out. I really like these eyeliners because they're very creamy and have a great formula. But yeah, that just provided a nice little bit of definition to my eyes. And just to kind of finish off this look, I want to bring a little bit of that champagne color to the inner corner of my eye. And to do so, I'm going to use a small brush like this one and just load up my brush with this pigment and just begin pressing it into the inner corner of my eye here. I want to also bring this on the inner part of my lower lash line. Okay, I kind of want to go in with this and do a little bit of the same. I don't have a drugstore setting spray, but I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury one. Let's 
apply some mascara. But first I'm going to curl my lashes. And for my lashes today, I'm gonna to use this mascara from Essence. This is the Lash Princess. And I really like this mascara. I've used it quite a lot in the last few weeks. And I just love the volume it gives my lashes. And to finish off this look, I'm going to add some lip product. So I'm going to line my lips using this NYX lip liner. This is in the shade Nude Truffle, and it's definitely a more nudish brown shade. It's this one over here. And I'm just gonna start by lining my lips. As you can tell, this is a very nude, leaning brown lip liner. It's looking really pretty. And I'm just going to fill in my lips a little bit using the lip liner because I'm just going to go in with a gloss after. So I want to fill in my lips. And the gloss I'm using today is from Maybelline. This is the Lifter Gloss. And I bought the shade Amber. So let me... This is the color. I think that's gonna look really nice on top of this lip liner. All right, and this is the final look using all drugstore makeup products. And I'm just loving how this turned out. It's a definitely a warmer look, but super pretty. I feel like this look can be a more nighttime friendly, like a date night look or you know, if you're going to an event during the day or just want to do some glam during the day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this content. But yeah, thank you so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.